Junior producer Adriana Cunningham and editor Dakota Hilliard created the following documentary on Mesker Park's Zoo annual Boo at the Zoo event. Boo at the Zoo at Mesker Park Zoo has been a fall and Halloween staple since 1999 for the tri-state community. Visitors can trick or treat, go on a hayride, and get close look at animal ambassadors, usually known as creepy crawlers, all in addition to touring the zoo. So the zoo has been doing Boo at the Zoo for a number of years out here, and each year it continues to be a success with great attendance and lots of great feedback and kids having fun. So of course we want to continue the event so that more and more kids every year uh, can come out and see all the attractions and the animals and receive a uh, bag full of goodies and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Well, Mesker Park Zoo has a variety of uh, attractions within Boo at the Zoo, including uh, everything from seeing the animals to magic shows, bounce houses, games, crafts, activities. We have creepy critter, crawly uh, animals out. We have a crocosaurus. We have all kinds of entertainment. And then there's also a trick-or-treat trail. So you get uh, lots of goodies and candy at the end. So there's lots of fun stuff. Uh, making it, you know, fun for everybody to come out. Uh, we've been doing Boo at the Zoo uh, for about 16 years now. Boo at the Zoo has changed a little each year. So every year, not only do we improve um, and tweak, but we add new attractions. So this year we added a hayride and we added a giant maze and we also added a costume contest. So every year we try to do something a little bit different to make it exciting and fresh. Uh, we've had everything from large carving uh, people out here to doing, um, again, magic shows, a little something different every year. A few years ago, giant hay bales were added to the event and used as holiday decorations. This year, the modern day art sculpting students handle decorating the hay bales. It takes roughly 125 volunteers to staff for each night for the Mesker Park Zoo to pull off Boo at the Zoo, making the event one that uses community to give back to the community. Up next is a short interview with one of the zoo docents and their creepy crawler animal ambassador. During Boo at the Zoo, we have what we like to call our creepy critters out for everybody to see. This is one of them. This is a Chilean rose-haired tarantula. Um, she is, the females are larger than the males. Uh, this is a no-touch animal, so the kids do get to look at them, but being kind of creepy, uh, a lot of people don't want to touch them anyway. We do have other animals out that the kids can touch. We have different snakes. We have rats. Um, we do have a bearded dragon, uh, just an assortment of animals. And we usually have them out in the clay building. Um, the kids come through. Um, while they're doing their, their trick-or-treating at the candy tables, they get to come up and visit with the animals. Uh, the docents will talk a little bit about the animals, explain to them what they are, where they're from, how they're used at the zoo, um, and they do get a, an opportunity to touch most of them. My favorite animal as a docent um, is actually a could be a domesticated animal. We do have some rats. We've got one that is a hairless rat that is also very good for Boo at the Zoo, as a lot of people do find it kind of creepy. Um, they're a lot of fun. Uh, we do have um, a lot of different animals in the, in the docent program. We've got birds, um, snakes, lizards. Uh, we do have a small possum um, from South America. So there's, there's a lot of different animals in the zoo, and it's kind of hard for me to pick my favorite. There, it's kind of like trying to figure out your favorite child. Although wet weather put a damper on this year's event, over 2,500 people attended Boo at the Zoo in 2015. 